to my channel. Um, today's video has uh, been requested by a couple of people and it's one I've mentioned I've been planning on doing in the past. Um, and so I thought I would just sit down and do it since I had a little bit of time, aka I procrastinate and cleaning the rest of my bedroom. Yay! So today's video is going to be about animation school. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I am in animation school. I'm a 3D animation major. Um, and I've had a couple questions about it and I wanted to go into my background with it and why I decided to go to animation school and to go back to school because it's actually my second degree. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start out by talking about my background in art. Um, I've always done art ever since I was a little kid. My mom and my dad are both, well they're, they're like my dad doesn't really do art anymore but he's a really good oil painter and my mom has always been really highly interested in watercolor paints and that kind of stuff and she's always encouraged me to paint and so I always grew up painting and making art um, like it was just always something that I did and that was important to me so I grew up with art around me and when I went to high school I took all of the art classes that I could take pretty much with and was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and I was like mm, well the only thing I've ever done my whole life is art so I guess I'm gonna go be an artist so I went to Colorado State University got bachelor's of fine arts and I double concentrated in painting and graphic design I also I wanted to go into children's book illustration and uh, as I went through my career at CSU I realized children's book illustration really just wasn't my calling um, I didn't actually like it <laughs> it felt really tedious and I just this wasn't something that I enjoyed doing um, and around that time Tangled came out and Tangled literally changed my life you guys you don't even know um, but I found out about concept art and what concept art was through Tangled and I absolutely fell in love with it and it was just like this fire in my heart and it was like this is what you need to be doing this is what you want to do like this is where you need to be so I knew that I wanted to be a concept artist from that moment on but you know there I was graduated and I had no idea what I was going to do with my life. I mean, I knew where I wanted to be, but I didn't know how to get there. Um, so the plan that I was kind of leaning towards was going to get my master's in illustration. So that was kind of what I was thinking about doing, but the idea of building a portfolio for grad school was uh, pretty intimidating. So I decided to move to Italy instead, yeah. Um, and then I came back and realized I had to, you know, like deal with all of the real world and the problems that I've been kind of avoiding for a while and kind of did a half-hearted attempt at applying to a master's degree but never finished it because you know, I got this other idea that I liked a lot better, basically. Um, and it was around this time that I discovered the YouTube videos of Bailey J. And I started following her art channel. She's an awesome artist. Um, she, probably the, she, she inspired me to start my own art channel. So um, she's really, really cool. And uh, she has a vlog channel. Um, and I started watching Bailey's vlogs and I was like, oh, you're cool. Like, you like nerdy stuff and you're not, I don't know, you just seem like a normal, real person. So I, I really liked watching her vlogs. And the more I watch, she's an animator in Vancouver. And the more I watched her vlogs, I was like, oh, your job is just so cool. Like, that's so awesome. I wish that I could do that. And I was sitting, <laughs> I was like sitting in my car one day and driving home to the Springs. And I was like, wait, why don't I do that? Like, the um like I took a motion graphics class in my graphic design class and we did rotoscoping and I loved it I adored it I was like yes this is awesome let's animate stuff I've always loved animated movies I want to go into the animation field don't want to be a concept artist so wouldn't it make sense to um uh like uh get a job in the animation field so I can become a concept artist um uh, uh, maybe that makes sense yeah it was so blatantly obvious that I was just like how did I not think of this before and it was just like I knew and so I decided to apply to get my second bachelor's degree. I decided that I was going to go back to school a week before the applications were due for the school that I currently attend. So I decided to apply to, they have an online program, which is awesome. And they're located about an hour and a half away from where I currently live. I had a week to get my portfolio together. Um, and yeah, it was pretty intense. So uh, first of all, why did I choose the school that I went to? Um, I chose the school I went to for a couple of reasons. First of all, and this is the biggest reason, I wanted to go to a dedicated art school. For my second degree, I really wanted to be surrounded by a community of artists. I wanted to feel a little bit more inspired and maybe even a little bit more competitive. Um, you know, I, I felt like that would be a really good atmosphere for me. And I really, really like it. Um, it's a great school. If you have any other questions about my school, I'd be happy to answer it. I'm gonna go into the program and why I chose the animation program. Uh, so first of all, I am a three animation major. I was instinctively drawn towards 2D animation. And to be completely 100% honest, I went into 3D animation so I could get a job. How 
However, um, I was a little worried about this. I was like, oh, what if I don't like the 3D aspect of it? I know I would like the animation aspect, but what if I didn't like the 3D, 3D aspect? I'm actually currently in a class where I'm learning Maya, and I love it! Oh my god! Um, so fears are gone. Like, my passion for 3D animation is now, like, woo way higher than it was before. So I'm actually really glad. I know I really am passionate about it, um, more so than I was, and I really like it, and I'm really excited about it, and I love it. Um, but originally I did choose it because I wanted a job, <laughs> and I, I do want a job, so jobs are great. I guess I'll talk next about the application process. Um, I have had a couple questions on this. I did have an interview. It was I'm pretty bubbly. I just kind of was like, hi, I'm Alice. Here's all my personality. I'm just going to throw it at you until you let me in. And I don't have any tips for interviews. I'm just awkward and, and loud. So I guess art people like that because it worked for me. But portfolio wise, I will talk about that. So I've had people ask, did I have to have a specific animation portfolio? No, I did not. Um, I did have one animation in there. It was the rotoscoping that I had done in my motion graphics class. However, because I was getting a bachelor's degree, they did not expect me to have any knowledge of animation at all beforehand. So that was great. I did not have to worry about that. Uh, my portfolio consisted primarily of the work that I had done in my previous degree. I t tried to um, give a really broad range in my portfolio. So I went with, I tried to choke a lot of color. Um, I, most of my paintings are pretty colorful. I also tried to include some figure drawings, figure sketches from my figure painting and figure drawing classes because I wanted to show that I had a good handle on anatomy. I tried to include some landscapes. I also tried to show my imagination. They were really big on imagination and creativity. So I really, really tried to show some of the, um, some of my paintings that were more imaginative and also paintings that had a really big storytelling aspect to it because I wanted to go into animation. And then with that, I also showed a couple life studies. So, you know, just painted a vase, blah, 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 um, to show that I had good handle on modeling, on color, on value. What I really focus on and what I think is really good for students that are applying to focus on is you want your portfolio to be a good mix. You want to show your technical ability. That is important. All of your work should show your technical ability. However, if your portfolio is all still lifes and all figure drawings and nothing creative, that's not going to go well for you either, especially if you're going into a creative field. I mean, if you want to be like, you know, an illustrator for anatomy textbooks, then that's awesome. That'll be great for you. But to get into an art school, you really need to show your creative aspect as well. So throw some creative stuff in there. Like, I mean, try to make it technically strong, but even if it's not the most technically strong, throw it in there. Also process work, like show your thumbnails, show how a piece went from concepts to like all these different concepts to refining to refining to refining to the final piece um showing your thought process is really really helpful when they're trying to figure out how you think and how you brainstorm and uh, uh, colleges really like that so um those would be my tips and that's kind of what my portfolio was okay so that's kind of everything about my portfolio and about the application process i really just had to jump off the cliff I had to just decide I was gonna do it and follow through. Uh, my first semester, I'm currently in my second semester, and I came in with 60 transfer credits because like I said, I already had a deg one degree. So my process in school is a little bit different. And if you are considering going back for your second bachelor's degree, you may encounter some of the things that I encountered. So I came in with 60 credits. However, you could only transfer 60 credits. I could have transferred more, like I had more, but you weren't allowed to transfer more than that. So there are a couple classes that I had to repeat. So for example, my first semester, I took a figure drawing class. Um, I also took a introduction to digital media class, which was basically beginning Photoshop. It's just I have a degree in graphic design, <laughs> like, but it's always good to relearn the basics. Um, exist, especially in stuff like if you have to retake things like figure drawing, that's awesome. I know you're gonna feel like oh, I already know how to do this, but like you can never take too many figure drawing classes ever, 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 ever. And even in that Photoshop class, like I learned a couple things I didn't know before because I was mostly self-taught in Photoshop. So I learned a couple of like the proper ways to do things and some little shortcuts I didn't know. And it's always good to refresh yourself and to try different techniques and try different ways of doing things. So that's how I tried to approach the classes that I kind of had to repeat taking. So as far as online classes went, my school has a really good online setup. I really enjoyed it. I felt 
very connected to my teachers. I felt like I got a lot of really, really good one-on-one -on -one critique from my teachers, and that was great. Um, it definitely felt like a more individualized experience with the teachers. However, I didn't feel like I got to know any of my classmates. I didn't really feel like I connected to any of my classmates, and to be honest, I didn't get a lot of critique from my classmates, with the exception of one class where she was very, very good about making sure that we had group critiques. The other thing, too, was I had a lot of technical issues, uh, and it was just... It was a lot of stress. Um, the last thing I have to say about online classes is time management. I am not a good, uh, no. I am the worst procrastinator ever. Hello, you subscribe to my channel, look at the my upload schedule. It's like, mm, one week, uh -huh, uh -huh, three months, uh -huh, two, three videos in a week. Like, there's no, I just, I can't. Like, I'm terrible at it. Also, like, I'm a super social person. Can you tell? I ramble, I like to talk, you know? It, so. Being socially isolated and not being able to manage my own time. I mean, I was literally in my apartment all day, every day. And it made it really hard to get your assignments done on time. Yeah, that was that was, that was was the toughest part. So if you are going to take online classes and you're bad at time management, it is doable. You can do it. But you're really going to have to kick your butt. And you may have to, like, get your friend to be like, do your thing. Do the thing that you need to do. My second semester, I decided that I was going to commute down to school, which like I said, is an hour and a half to two hour drive, depending on traffic. So uh, my schedule this this semester is I am in class from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. with one hour long break. Luckily, my college splits everything up into terms. So it's not for an entire semester. It's actually only for eight weeks. Um, and then after that eight weeks, I'll be starting new classes and those classes will be online. So I do have a two hour commute. I have to wake up at five in the morning. And it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. It's fine. And I do not regret it at all. What I chose to do is I'm taking the classes on campus that are really relevant to my major. So the classes that I'm taking on campus right now are called creative visualization, which is basically, it's a freaking concept art class. Like it's like pre-production where I'm just like, yeah, this is awesome. And it makes me really, really happy because I'm enjoying it so much. And I'm like, I know I'm going to like this as a job. Yay. Um, and then my second class is intro to 3D. Um, and we're learning how to use Autodesk Maya. And I have never used that before ever, but I love it. And it's awesome. And I think that if I was taking this online, I would be so lost, like, oh, so lost. So I really recommend if you can take classes on campus, take them. It, it's just nice interacting with other students and you see their work and it inspires your work. And that's really cool. It's awesome. And I really feel like it's worth it. So that's kind of where I am with school right now. I will definitely do an update. But as of right now, it is one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. I feel so confident about it. And I just know it's right. And I would really encourage you if you are lost or you don't know where how to get to where you want to go start with where you want to go and move backwards um and if you don't know where you want to go then look at what your next step could be i'm big on okay what can what are my possible routes from where i am right now uh and then just figure out which of those routes sounds most appealing to you and go for it don't worry about step three until you're in step two and if you know where you want to go look at where you want to go and then figure out okay what can i do next to help me get there even if that's not even if you don't know what you're going to do after that like, what can you do next that will help you further that goal? And go with your gut. Honestly, most importantly, go with your gut. I made this decision in a week and it was really, really scary. And it's okay to do things at your own pace. And it's okay to do things in a different order than everyone else does it. Um, the most important thing is that you're happy and that you're following your goal. And don't do anything without intent. And just trust yourself. Uh, you know what's best for yourself and only you can know what the right thing to do um talk to all your friends about it talk to your family about it that's fine but at the end of the day go with your gut and go with what your gut's telling you to do so that is everything i thank you so much for watching please let me know if you have any other questions about my school about my program anything like that i'd be happy to answer them i also want to do a q and a um just kind of like about me uh so you guys can learn a little bit more about me so if you have any questions feel free to comment below or tweet me at alice in artland um or whatever you want to do send me them questions and i will answer them also i have a couple videos coming up i'm halfway through a crayola challenge video but then i built a blanket fort and got distracted so that's got to be finished soon and yeah, I'm working on editing a couple videos. Uh, so those will be up when I finish editing them as well. Yeah.
Okay, let me know what you thought of this video. Have a great day and thanks so much for watching. Bye. Um.